Good morning, good people. Father Blaine Berkey here, sitting at our Friary Cribbage table at St. Francis Friary in Denver. Most evenings, three or four of us play a game or two of cribbage before supper. The others often join us in conversation. During our conversations, the, the painting hanging behind me often gets my attention. It's a it's a copy of an early Caravaggio altar piece that hangs in the Affici Gallery in Florence, Italy. It's called A Sacred Conversation and shows from top left Mary Magdalene, John the Baptist, the Blessed Mother, Francis of Assisi, Catherine of Alexandria, and two lesser known saints, Cosmas and Damien. Somewhat hidden in their midst is Christ, to whom the saints lead us by their faith and good works. We might give some thought today that our life's mission is also to lead ourselves and others to Christ. The painting was put there by our former guardians, Father Sojin, who will soon be home from a year-long deployment as an army chaplain on the Arabian Peninsula. Yesterday was the feast of Saints Cosmas and Damien, twin brothers born in Arabia who were skilled in medicine, and tomorrow is the anniversary of their deaths. Their skill as medics was no doubt the reason they were chosen as patrons by the Medici family of the city of Florence. The saints once practiced medicine at a Mediterranean seaport near the present Turkish-Syrian border. Because they accepted no pay for their services of the poor, they were called the silverless ones. In that way, they converted many to Christ. It's said that two fellow doctors, perhaps motivated by the success of the saints, reported them to the to civil authorities as being Christians during the time of the Diocletian persecution. When they refused to renounce their Catholic faith, they were sentenced to death, and after unsuccessful attempts to kill them by water, fire, and brute force, they, their mother, and three older other brothers were cap decapitated, decapitated on September the 27th, about the year 303. Devotion to the saints, saintly brothers became widespread, especially in the 500s. During that time, the Emperor Justinian built several churches dedicated to them in Constantinople, and Pope Sibicus built a basilica in Rome. During that time also, their names were added to the Roman Eucharistic prayer, so that every day in the next 1,500 years, they were invoked to, in every Mass. In the liturgical renewals of the Second Vatican Council, Three new Eucharistic prayers were added to the Missal, and the first Eucharistic prayer is now seldom used in most churches. The Brothers' Feasts, however, are still celebrated every year in September. They are considered patrons of druggists, physicians, barbers, dentists, and against hernia and pestilence. Earlier, earlier this month, the Italian community in the Cambridge and Somerville areas of Boston celebrated its 98th annual Italian festival of the healing saints Cosmos and Damien, a three-day street festival of amusement rides, games, food vendors, beer gardens, and big day music in which <coughs> excuse me, the church also poured forth into the streets with several grand possessions through the area of statues of the two saints, with blessings and healing services, with relics of the two saints. The usual Sunday Mass at nearby St. Francis Church was celebrated on the, the Warren Street stage by an auxiliary bishop. This is one more example of where people are leading others to Christ through the intercession of the saints. At other times during the day, at other parts of this house, we, we have conversation, other conversations, 
conversations with the Lord. And doing this conversation, I want you to know that at least twice a day, you're, you're remembering you and your intentions. And we hope that you think of us from time to time. Our evangelical evangelization committee hopes to get these videos seen by more people. If you enjoy them, please help by recommending them to all your friends.